it's a beautiful day it for is. a three-minute grill, yes. isn't it? Yes, oh, it is. gorgeous out. Karen Pope from Get Cooking, one of my favorite people, is here this morning. How are you? I'm fantastic. I know you are. You're always in a good mood, and you're excited <laughs> because about what we're about to make. It's hard not to be with all this stuff right. you know, in front, sitting here. So, so today we're making shish kebabs, and uh, this is actually a nod to my father because Father's Day is coming up. This is his recipe. Well, it's not his recipe. I had to, you know, you leave out a couple ingredients. I did okay. my own thing, but uh, it is one of the dishes that he always made. So. Awesome. Okay. Tradition. You're keeping it alive. Let's right. get to it. You already have a lot of stuff setting out here. It looks like you're ready to get started. Absolutely. So this is a great dish to make ahead uh, so that you can really enjoy time with your family sure. and be present, you know, when you're um, celebrating with people at cookouts this uh, summer. This is a great dish to bring with you, and it's super easy, so... Uh, let me show you what we do. Sure. So uh, we're going to cut all the vegetables up, and I've already done that, and mm -hmm. put them in a marinade overnight. Mm -hmm. So I think if you marinate them for at least four hours, but mm -hmm. overnight in, would be better. And what do you marinate yeah. them with? So the marinade is uh, in this jar right here. So this is a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of oil, um, some balsamic vinegar. I've got a uh, little bit of one of my favorite seasonings. What is uh, it? It's Penzi's Chicago Steak Seasoning. Oh, of course. It's, it's Chicago. It's good, right? It's amazing. Yes, nice. and I put a little bit of Aleppo pepper in there for a little bit of spice. Ooh, so, I like that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I used that on the vegetables and the steak, but I also okay. picked up a pork tenderloin Ooh. at the grocery store that was pre-marinated, and that is going to save you a lot of time. Yeah, if you I've don't never have done that time. on a kebab. That's so going to be easy. interesting. So I'm this excited. is a pork tenderloin. This is a, a okay. sirloin, a top sirloin. Um, they're they're going to make for great cuts of meat, and they'll cook up really great on the grill, mm. and they're pretty economical. I yeah, mean, so you can serve a steak dinner without having having to buy a T-bone. Exactly. So last night you got the marinade together, you put all the vegetables in here, they've been sitting in that overnight and now they're here and they're ready to go. Yes. So you take this out in the morning, in the afternoon, whenever you're ready for Maybe this. Maybe midnight then, if you're yeah. ready. Maybe <laughs> you're right. really in the mood for it, then what do you do next? Right. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to skewer the meat. Now sure. I am using wooden bamboo skewers, okay. so I uh, soak them over, or I just soaked them for about an hour or so, so that they won't burn on the grill. Sure. Um, and That's there's, a good idea. Yeah. You, you don't, don't want, want those to, to catch on, to catch <laughs> on fire. I certainly <laughs> don't. So uh, I'm just going to put a few different cuts of meat on here. Okay. And I like to keep all my things separate because I have a lot of vegetarians in my life. Okay, so, yeah, you, know, you can sense. always keep your uh, meat and vegetables separate or you can do them on the same skewer. That's what I was going to ask. I noticed they were separated before. Yep, and I do that just simply because I have a lot of just thick eaters case. that I love. And what's fun <laughs> about this too is like I bet the kids really like to make these because it's almost like a creativity thing. Absolutely. Right. Now if you notice, I'm doing two skewers and what this does is it kind of stabilizes your meat so when you go to flip it, it is going to actually flip all the way around. Yeah, okay. that's a good not, idea because you don't yeah, want it, it flying is. everywhere. That's right. Shish kebab and everywhere. Shish kebab and all over the place. <laughs> so um, we can go ahead and stick these on the grill. So okay. I went ahead and preheated this grill. The charcoal's uh, really hot. It oh, is, good. you can tell because it's a uh, kind of that charcoal gray. Yeah. So that means that it is rocking hot. When we put these on there, most likely it's going to sizzle. Oh, yeah. I heard it. You hear that? I heard it. <laughs> yes. Now, that's what you want. You want it to sizzle up, and uh, what that does is it sears the meat, so all the juices get locked inside with all that Ooh, gorgeous that marinade. Yeah, Look at right? that. Yeah. I love and, it. Uh, when you're grilling these, you want to leave them on the grill until they come up easy. So okay. if you go to pick them up and they're still stuck Second. to the grill, uh -huh. leave them down for another minute or two until they really get a good sear on them before you flip them. So maybe a little bit longer than yeah. you think it needs to be. Yeah, I would say um, for steak for medium rare, I would leave them on about five to six minutes okay. before I flip them and then I would cook them for another five to six minutes. Okay. But it depends on the heat of your grill. So. And what meat you're using too. Exactly. Right? Huh. And you can okay. use any meat for this. You can use pork, you can use chicken, you can I love use shrimp, steak. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's and a lot of fun. Coming up a little bit later, we're going to see the finished product. And eat oh, it, man. I hope. And eat That's it. That's where I'm at. <laughs> and give a shout out for Father's Day to somebody special, right? Absolutely. So we'll be right That's back, you guys, about. with more of the morning show.